not you, not you. Your organization's terrible. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, the Where are you from? Uh, BBC. Okay. Here's another beauty. Quiet, can, quiet. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you say categorically, She's asking a question. Don't Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be You're rude. You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you no, give I'm us not a question? Give you a qu I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorically? You are fake news. Sir, go ahead. Can you stay Journalists in the United States are under attack and being silenced by the president they're supposed to be holding to account. These are tough times for reporters at the White House. We've had to fight for our right to stay in the press room. We've had to fight for the right to stay on Air Force One and travel with the president. Time and again, Donald Trump has turned his back on the media. In April, he turned down an invitation to the White House Correspondents' Dinner, an event traditionally attended by U.S. presidents. Twitter is Trump's preferred mode of communication, bypassing the mainstream media. Whether online or in his speeches, if Trump doesn't like the coverage, he doesn't hold back. We are fighting the fake news. It's fake, phony, fake. His use of the, the phrase fake news for every story he doesn't like uh, has sort of hidden the fact that there is sometimes news that comes out from other you know, sp state-sponsored or, or other organizations that is deliberately fake. Uh, and that, of course, is a threat both to uh, the, our readership and to our profession. The White House Correspondents Association has represented journalists covering the U.S. president for more than a century. For Jeff Mason, its role today is more important than ever, protecting correspondents' rights and making sure they can do their job in Washington. This year, Deutsche Welle is honoring the association with its Freedom of Speech Award, an award that recognizes people and initiatives that promote free expression and human rights around the world. Also in the United States, freedom of press is at stake because the head of state is attacking free press, media and journalists personally and in general. And I think this is not acceptable. We recognize that the world has been watching some of what we've been doing and uh, we're grateful for that support. And we also, in addition to standing up for press freedoms here in the United States, certainly support press freedom all around the world. Despite pressure from the White House, Jeff Mason and his colleagues are determined to do their jobs, report the facts and ask the critical questions.